Here we are in Kathmandu, the capital of uh, Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. The country has 26.5 million population and is located in Himalayas in between two most populous countries, India and China. It has changed its uh, political system only recently in 2008. Before that it uh, used to be a, a kingdom and now it is a republic. Uh, many visitors come to Nepal for cultural, religious, uh, wellness and also nature-based uh, tourism. Uh, Nepal is uh, home to many of the highest uh, mountains in the world, including uh, Mount Everest. In 2014 there were about uh, 800,000 visitors that came to the country. Most of them come from India and China, 14% from India and 12.5% from China. But uh, in 2015 that number dropped to 540,000. This is due to a major earthquake that occurred in 2015 in April. The earthquake resulted in the loss of 9,000 lives and is also impacting the economic development of the country. Many of the iconic uh, cultural uh, sites have been destroyed, including uh, Kathmandu Durbar Square. Nepal is one of the least developed countries of the world. It's ranked 144th according to United Nations Human Development Index. And uh, the government, private sector and many communities are actually reliant uh, on, on tourism. The government has pledged to demolish and rebuild sites uh, that were affected by the earthquake within 10 years. And then there was a major worry that uh, tourists will stop coming to uh, Nepal after the earthquake as they may have the perception that everything has been destroyed, which is not the case. There are plenty of uh, things to see in Kathmandu. And some places like uh, Buktapur uh, have uh, been very little affected uh, by the earthquake. So for example, here in Bhaktapur, there was a uh, few destruction from the 2015 earthquake in comparison to Kathmandu. So only four temples were destroyed and uh, uh, most of the temples and attractions are open for tourists. So actually uh, the uh, numbers have bounced back to 740,000 visitors in 2016 and it uh, demonstrates optimism for the tourism sector and many of the actors that rely on tourism income including the government, tour guide services, uh, artists and uh, hotels and shop owners. So you can actually uh, see and experience the country if you come here and it's very enjoyable uh, and interesting uh, travel.